Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ashuyo A820 8 inch internet tablet. Oh, and it's pinging me because I'm playing word games. Uh, first thing I'll say is ignore the screen here. It does come with a stylus and a screen protector, as you can see from constant use for two weeks. It's all scratched up and stuff, but you can basically peel that off. But of course, when it's on, you don't even notice it whatsoever. So, anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right in as far as what comes with it. You get the tablet, you get a stylus. Now, I'll put a lanyard on mine just to be able to use it and not lose the stylus or whatever. So, all right, it comes with the USB cable, a little uh, pair of headphones, which I'll probably never use and then a power adapter. It comes in a nice little box here as you can see and then you get your packaging. Underneath the tray you'll find a screen, a cleaning cloth, an instruction manual and some screen protectors. We have a 1.3 megapixel camera built into the front of it. Um, it is running um, Android 2.3.1 Gingerbread. Let's go ahead and open it up here. So on the front you have your power and your back button this will take you directly home so let's say if you're in an application for instance instead of backing all the way out to close the program you can just hit that button and it'll take you to home and that program still open in the background which is nice and then of course this button over here is for settings so any page that you're on or any program or app that you're in if you hit that it'll take you to the settings for that if you hit it again it goes away so alright so we've got a speaker on the back and then here are the help you with the specifications there. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, all that good stuff there. And then on the bottom of the unit here you've got your USB, you've got your mini USB, you've got your microphone, you've got your HDMI out, you've got your micro SD card slot which it'll go up to 32 gigs, headphone jack, and power. Now the first thing you'll notice is that I'm running Go Launch, uh, Go Launcher EX. Um, under normal circumstances um, when you slide like you would with any Android, this page just kind of slides. Well, I've decided to get, use Go Launcher EX, and as you can see, I've chosen the windmill effect there. And the main thing to look at are the graphics. See how smooth? And the transition, like transitioning from the... That's the beginning of the picture, and that's actually the end. So you can see how smooth the activity is on that. And fast or slow, so... Alright, and then also with Go Launcher EX, um, you can have, you know, your little bars down here so you can set up various folders and applications and stuff like that. So, hit the browser button, you got your Google interface right there, very simple. And you kick into Facebook right there. See your news feed and stuff like that. Yeah, it's running slow for some reason, so. Let's see. So anyway, you can see a lot of the various different activity going on through Facebook right there. Now, one issue that you might be confronted with is downloading applications from the market. Sometimes you're going to run into something to where it's going to say, um, let me see if I can find one here, like for instance, Scrabble. It's going to say, your device is not compatible with this item. So what I did in this case, because I wanted to play Scrabble, is I went to a website uh, that has APK files, you know, the actual package files for these, and one you can go to is the number four shared, foreshared.com, or you can do a Google search for like Scrabble, APK, whatever, just find the latest version. So I downloaded it to my SD card on my computer, popped it in here, and then this comes with ES File Browser. And so basically, I just went into ES File Browser and then went to my uh, T Flash card. And I created a folder on the, fl uh, the Flash card called Apps. And so then, those are the apps I've downloaded from the internet and installed. So you can see. And as far as the slide keyboard goes, um, slide it. You'll want to download that and install it. Because let me show you about the keyboard here real quick. The default Android keyboard, you know, you got to tick, 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 hello, T, 
tick, 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 how, tick, 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 are you doing, you know, and it's a real pain sometimes, so I chose to install Slide It, okay, so now, instead of doing that, I can say, hello, how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> and, and well, it came out with hello, how eight toy doing, but anyway, you get the idea. This makes life so much easier, so make sure you download Slide It. You might not be able to get it from the Android market, but go to foreshared.com, you'll be able to find it. So I got a ton of applications and stuff installed, so as you can see, I've got Pandora, I've got my MP3 player. I do have, I am running the new Google um, media interface right there. I think it's three point something, whatever. So anyway, that's the Google's music player, which I found on some obscure website. And then I've got my scanner radio, which is hooked up actually through um, the Wi-Fi network right now. So you can see that that's connecting. Then up here it says now streaming. So that's just a little widget there and then I found another widget for to control my volume right there on the main page. But you can also control volume up here if you want on the status. So, so pretty cool. So I can leave that running and actually go play games and do a bunch of different stuff, you know. So I'm pretty nifty. So then I'm down here I've got my Roku remote for my Roku and then I've got Netflix. So let me cover the specs here real quick. Um, so it does have the Samsung S5 PV210 chipset, and it's a resistive two-point touch, which means you can zoom in and zoom out with two points, you know. Of course, you can't do it on Netflix, but um, it's an 8-inch diagonal cut. The resolution is 800 by 600. The CPU type is an ARM Cortex-A8. Uh, manufacturer Samsung. CPU speed is 1.2 gigahertz, which is pretty fast. RAM is DDR2. It has 512 megabytes. Um, of RAM in it has the internal hard drive capacity. It's a solid state drive. It's four gigabytes. Um, you can expand that to 32 gigabytes with the micro SD card right there. I've got an eight gigabyte in it right now. Um, this is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. The HDMI output right here is at 1080p, although it, it might be sketchy on some things like Netflix. It kind of bogs down a little bit for some reason but you know I didn't buy this to hook it into an HDMI TV a big screen TV just to play Netflix I bought it so I could watch it on this unit so that's the main thing so uh, it has the G sensors inside for 3D gaming so you can rotate the screen while you're playing video games and stuff like that now the battery on the inside of this is a lithium-ion 5000 milliamp hour battery now it's stated on the website that this with Wi-Fi turned on that it should run about three plus hours of Wi-Fi turned off five plus hours. Now what I've noticed, let's say I come in with a full charge, let's say five o'clock in the evening after work or whatever, I come in and pop this thing off the charger and I can use it literally till one or two in the morning. Now I mean that's not constant use, but I'm, you know, I'll come in and play a word game or I'll come in and watch an episode of something on it or check my Facebook and browse and do all kinds of stuff, but I can pretty much use this thing the entire evening without having to recharge it again. So that's very nice. Um, the weight is 1.1 pounds without the adapter. It is very light. It's got a very nice hard construction. It's not flimsy at all or anything like that. And this is slightly raised right there on the side, okay? So you can actually have a little grip right there for it if you want. So, um, Wi-Fi is 802.11b slash g, okay, so it's not in or anything. Um, supports uh, WAV, MP3, JPEG, GIFs, you know, a lot of this different media formats and stuff like um, that. So. A lot of people, I think, have been downing these tablets. Um, yeah, it's a knockoff kind of thing, maybe out of China, you know, but... Um, it works really well. I was very surprised. I mean, you can see how well the graphics are and stuff like that. And, you know, Netflix plays really smoothly and everything. So, anyway, I guess I'm going to leave it there for now. That's just a basic review of this tablet. So, you know, for 180 bucks, you can't beat it. It's a really good deal. And so, I decided to go with the 8-inch just for that reason right there. Because I can hold it in my hand, you know, and I've still got plenty of space to work with when I'm doing my stuff, so, alright, 
there you have it. I hope this review helped you guys out. If it did, please post a comment. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace.